Good evening, Soul Warriors. This is Tara with Day 23. And I'm calling this Two Guardians and Your Guide because I got two simple words at the beginning of this day and found out that these two things were my two guardians, which is not what I ever, ever would have thought. So, um, so this day I was actually finding fear bubbling up. And fear, I am very sorry, my cat just entered. Here we are, say hi. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so on this day, there was like fear bubbling up. And fear bubbles up in many different ways. It can bubble up with um, resistance. It can bubble up with, I'm just not fucking going back there where I was before. Like, I never want to be hurt like that again. I never want to be treated like that again. Um, I never want to be broke like that again. Like, insert whatever it is. Um, fear can look like a lot of different things that a lot of us don't like to label fear because... We don't like to show fear or admit fear or ever talk about it. But I mean, in reality, everybody has fear. And if we really look at all of our behaviors and different feelings that we're having, fear's at the base, core base of a lot of it. Um, so I was sitting with a little fear because when you're starting to move forward into something else new in territory that you're not familiar with, um, it can get a little scary because you have no idea what to expect. It's a little uncomfortable. You're not sure how you're going to navigate it because you've never been there, obviously. Um, and it's a lot more comfortable to stay with the old stories or with the familiar friends or with the familiar family or with the old job because, you know, it's the enemy you know type of thing. But that never satisfies our soul. And that will never stop that soul from stirring and urging you to do something different. Um, so when that fear starts to bubble up, cause you know, you're getting close to taking that leap to making a huge change in your life or even a tiny change in your life. I mean, fear comes up over everything big to small. If you feel a little bit of that bubbling in you, that's like a hesitation on this change going forward or letting go of the old stuff, ask yourself if you have two things, do you have faith and do you have trust? Those two things, those are your two guardians. And those are the two things that will walk you through fear, faith and trust. Do you have faith in where you want to go and where you're headed towards? Do you have faith that you have the resilience, that you have the balls, that you have the, um, the grit to go there? Do you have trust that you've got you, the universe has got you, that you are aligned with the energy that you are moving toward, towards you. So that's got you held in a nice aligned place so that you can't go wrong. So trust and faith, those are your two guardians. So anytime you need to walk through fear, anytime you need to walk into something new, tap into trust and tap into faith. And the best time to do that is when you're not in a fear place. Like, what does trust look like to you? What does trust feel like to you? Um, think of a place where you feel like super secure or that person that you totally like trust with your life. I mean, I know there's not a lot of them for a lot of us because we've been hurt so many times, but there's got to be like one person or one place that just feels like, like absolute pure trust. And like, remember that and anchor into that so that you can use that experience, that place or that person to help anchor trust in for you when you're ready to walk through that fear and then faith like what do you have faith in i mean is it just it can be as simple as faith in your own ability it doesn't have to mean anything spirituality wise um god goddess like whatever you believe in faith can mean that um like and and what's not a better guardian what's a better guardian for you than you know whatever you believe as a higher power if you believe in one but what about faith in yourself um faith in your abilities faith in your resilience and your knowledge i mean so these are your guardians that get you through fear and then your guide if you add in to that formula grace grace is your guide and then you cannot go wrong with trust faith and grace and so what does grace looks like to me? Um, grace means staying humble. Um, grace means being true to your word. Grace means handling yourself in the best way you can in even the worst possible situations. Um, grace means being able to maintain your balance, being able to maintain your power. Um, and no matter what's going on to maintain your kindness, your empathy, your sympathy, um, 
just that, that, that core base value of being a good human being. Like, can you exude that? And can you maintain that at all times? Because often when people get into a fear place, um, that's when they start acting out because, you know, they're worried. And so they feel like they need more support and people aren't good um, because we're not taught to ask for the support that we actually need or that it's bad to ask for what we need and that we can just do it ourselves. We can do it better. Um, so we often do not. So then we start acting up and acting out just totally subconsciously half the time because it gives us the attention. So it's this false feeling of um, people's energy and focus being on us. So it's a false feeling of support. So being in grace is just maintaining who you are and what you are and what you're about. And at the same time, being perfectly okay with calling your best friend, um, you know, calling the person that has the expertise and maybe where you're heading towards, um, you're looking for resources you never even knew were out there and actually utilizing those supports to help shore you up. So th that's grace. So you have a feeling of what trust is, you have a feeling of what faith is now, and now you have a pretty good idea of like how grace can be handled for you. So with faith and trust as your guardians, and with grace as your guide, you can walk through any fear, which means you can walk away from those old stories, and you can walk into peace or whatever your end goal is, and you can build your dreams. So those three, faith, trust, and grace two guardians and your guide, and you can't go wrong. And that's what I learned on day 23. Um, it's what I've lived most of my life, but to actually put those words around it just felt real profound to actually put like some solid thing on paper around what I've been experiencing for 49 years. Um, so I really hope that you can tap, even if you can just tap into one of those three, if you don't, like remember the next time you get into that fear unsure place to just grab any one of the three that you can, whichever one's easiest for you to tap into and then layer on the other three and come back to this video if you're in that place to remind you of these three things and take a second again when you're not in a fear place to anchor into those three, the trust, the faith, and the grace so that you have a practice thing so your body muscle memory remembers it and your subconscious remembers it so that you can utilize it once you get into the fear place because the fear place sometimes also shuts down a lot of those, oh, these are my tools, this is what I can use. So you want those tools to be like on automatic recall um, in your subconscious so that you can get through Things that are big and scary, but also exciting and can make your life, you know, up-level your life in, in such a freaking amazing way. I've done it several times really big, and um, every day I try to do it in small steps to keep moving and growing and building and creating, and it's freaking exciting. So to me, fear equals excitement most of the time, um, and if you can equate it to that too, instead of letting it, like paralyze you or pause you for too long. I see a lot of people like missing out on, on opportunities and letting go of dreams because they wait, wait too long because of that fear. So use the faith, use the trust and use the grace. And that is day 23. Love you guys very, very much. And I will talk to you tomorrow night for day 24. Take care.